Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we're going to cover numbers up to 500 and whereas the previous one was ascending the order you have to do in this one it will be descending. Let's have a look at the question we're going to work through and you'll understand it a bit better. So suppose we have these numbers 407, 265, 317, 429, and the last one is 358. So those are our five numbers. And the question is, we have to reorder them starting with the largest number first and then descending to the smallest number. So first things first, let's draw the boxes that you will typically find in tests and in workbooks. The fourth one and the last one here. Now the top one is the largest. And at the bottom we've got the smallest. Okay, right. Now let's have a look at our questions. Sorry, at our numbers. We've got five sets of numbers. And you know the routine by now. What do we do? We look at the digit on the left to begin with. That in this case is the hundreds. So let's have a look at how many hundreds each number has. 407 has got four hundreds. 265 has got two hundreds. 317 has got three hundreds. 429 has got four hundreds. And lastly, 358 has got three hundreds. Now, that is the hundreds, so we can label it up here. Now, what does that tell us? Well, we've got two sets of numbers are the same. We've got the 3 and the 3, and the 4 and the 4. The only number that is different is the 2. So the numbers, the different numbers we have as hundreds are 2, 3, and 4. That's it. We don't have any other numbers. It's 2, 3, and 4. Now, which of these is the smallest? The smallest one is 2. And 2 is on its own. So therefore, we can write down this number right now. And the number is 265. And that is the smallest number. 265. And the reason why it's the smallest is because it has got two hundreds. All the other numbers have got either three hundreds or four hundreds. So we have filled in one of the boxes. Now let's look at the next number, which is the largest. And that is the three. But we've got two threes over here. And because we've got two threes, they're the same, we cannot tell which is larger and which is smaller. What we have to do is to look at the digit next to it. In this case, the tens. So let's look at the tens for the three hundreds. This one first, 317. This has got one ten. And this one here, 358. This has got five tens. Now, which number is larger and which number is smaller? Well, the first thing we notice is that the numbers are different. One and five are different. They're not the same. Therefore, we should be able to do this. We should be able to write both of these numbers down now. The smaller number is 1. So this is the number that goes next. 317. Now don't forget, the smallest is at the bottom. 265 is already done. We've just added on 317. That leaves the 5, which is 358. So great, we have now filled in three of the boxes. 
the ones that are remaining are the fours, the four hundreds. We've got four here and four here. So what, and because the fours are the same, we cannot tell which is bigger and which is smaller. We have to look at the tens. So let's look at the tens for the first number, 407. Well, 407 doesn't have any tens. And as for the other number, 429, that has got two tens. And notice that these two numbers are different. And because they're different, we can now fill in the boxes. Which of these numbers is the smaller number? Well, naturally, that's the zero. So therefore, we can write this number down now. That is 407. That just leaves this number, the 2. That's 429. And 429 is the largest number. So what we have done is we've gone from the smallest up to the largest. And we have reordered the numbers into the, well, from the smallest to the largest. So let's just have a look at these. The first one at the bottom is 265. That only had a 2 for the hundreds. The next two both had three hundreds, so we had to go to the tens to work out which was larger and which which was smaller. And the next and the last two at the top, they had four hundreds as well. So we had to look at the tens to work out which was larger and which was smaller. So that is how we order numbers up to five hundred, starting from the largest going down to the smallest.